Hello, hello, friends. So, you know the drill. You're going on a job interview. they asking you some simple question like, hey, man, can you write a function that'll, like, reverse a string? So, that's all pretty easy, but it's better to know how to do something in many different ways. And JavaScript's one of them languages to where if you give me any kind of, like, you know, algorithmic problem I could, you could figure it out in many different ways so right here we're just gonna do five different ways to reverse the string and the strengths and weaknesses of them so what we'll do first is we'll just start out with like kind of uh, well we'll write a constant first we'll just call it a and then that'll just be our this is the string test case uh, this is the test string so we can keep our code dry so the first one we'll do We'll just call it reverse. It'll be a function. It'll be fed a string. And this is cheating, in my opinion. Console.log. And you're just going to go string dot split. Split at each individual character. Dot reverse. Built in method for that. Dot join. Now, just to make, not to be too hubristic, reverse. Make sure that it works. Feed it that A. And let's go into node. Node scratch. So it did reverse it. So this is the most easy, straightforward, built in JavaScript way to do it. And your coding interviewer might be like, well, that's fine, but come on, kid. So one thing that you can use as a talking point is you can basically paste this, uh, this function right here. And we can do it again, except this time, instead of using dot split dot reverse, we can actually use this thing called the spread operator. So it's just an array opening with three dots, dot, 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 and then the string. So what this does, let's go into node real quick. So let's say that we have a str string called str, and it's just the word the. Everybody uses foo and bar and all that. I use the. Uh, so let's say that you wanted to split that string. You can go str to split at each character and it gives you that. You can go str at split at the spaces and it gives you that which is just going to wrap it in an array because there are no spaces in it. And if you just default without putting anything in there it'll just wrap it in an array. So you can get the same functionality as this up here without having to write all the dot split at the spaces. You can just go array dot 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 str and it gives you that. So that's what I'm here. This is called, that's called the spread operator. So let's call this one reverse two and make sure that it works. We'll call it reverse two with an str, or no, with a, a constant. And then let's get out of this. Uh, node scratch, and it works. Okay, so these two ways are, they're not, they're, they're quick and they're easy and they're straightforward. They're not much code and they're easy to read, but usually they wanna see that you can, you know, actually kind of write some stuff from scratch a little bit. So let's do that. This is the most like kind of old school way to write it from scratch. We'll call it reverse three and it'll be fed a string. And then what we need is an empty string to start out with. So we'll call it reversed. And that's just going to equal an empty string to start out with. Old school for loop, except this time what we're going to do is we're going to iterate through the for loop in a reverse manner instead of iterating through it forwards. So let's go for let i equal str dot link minus one gotta remember the minus one let's take a look at that so go back in a node and let's say you have a string called the and you can see with your eyes that str dot link is going to be three but if you try to access the third element you're going to get undefined because this is on a zero index whenever you're accessing them so it would be zero one Two. So if you want to start at the last element, you just go str at str.link minus one, and that will give you the last element, and that's how you can go ahead and start with it. So now that we got that out of the way, we're starting at the last element. As long as i is greater than or equal to zero, we're going to go i minus minus. So we're reverse iterating through the string. So same thing, we'll go reversed equals and in this case what you have to think about is you have the empty string reversed and we're going to add to that 
str at i. So first iteration, if we're going with the word the, it would be the e h t that we're going to add to reverse right here. Console log. We actually are going to console log reversed. Let's make sure this one works real quick. Call the function reverse three with a as our constant. Let's make sure this one works. Get out of this and clear that up. No scratch. All right, cool. So it works too. So we got three down. So what if they're like, well, that's cool. You're doing a little bit more, but we want to use. We don't want to use old school for loops. There's a lot of points of failure here. That's kind of confusing to read. Can you clean it up a little bit? Cool, no problem. Function reverse. And this will be the fourth way. It'll be fed a string as well. And this way we're going to use the ES6 syntax. So uh, let's call this rev4. Uh, so we don't have any naming problems because we have one up here already called reversed. And I, you know, it won't mess with it. But it's good convention to not name your name things in execution context different names. So like if we have reversed here, I've already named a variable called reverse. Um, you don't want to name. You don't want to try to name it here. You'll run into problems like that, especially when the when the application gets bigger. Uh, so let's go function reverse four string let rev four equal an empty string, same as the last one. Except in this one, instead of using an old school for loop, we can go for let char of str, and that's the new ES six syntax to be able to iterate through an array. So we'll go rev four. And in the one above, we had reversed adding to reverse the string because we were the, the character of the string because we're iterating through it backwards. Here it's the opposite. We're going to go char plus rev4. Console.log rev4. Let's make sure it works. Reverse 4 with our constant a. And it does work, cool. So that's four ways. Let's do, let's use something a little bit different. Let's use the built-in JavaScript array helper reduce. Uh, and let's try to figure that out. So function reverse five, and it'll be fed a string. And then we'll use reduce on this one. So we'll just go console.log and we'll go str. Let's use that, that spread operator again str dot reduce and then when we go dot reduce we're gonna give it a so I'll write this out then I'll explain it so accumulator character fire off function character plus accumulator starting as an empty string okay now there's like 95% chance I made a syntax error. Reverse five. Uh, a, let's make sure this works and I'll explain it. <laughs> um, syntax error. Do, 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 do. Ah, yeah, right here. One, two, three, yeah, that should work. Okay, cool. So all that works. So let's talk about reduce real quick. So what reduce does is since we have the spread operator here and we've, we've split this string into an array, what reduce does is uh, it takes two parameters. So reduce accumulator and then the character of whatever array that you're going through, whatever array element happens to be a character in this case. So the accumulator is going to start as whatever you want. Here, is where you declare what it starts as. I'm declaring that it starts as an empty string. So accumulator, which is an empty string at this point, and character, which is the first character or the first element within the array. So I'll take the first element in the array and add it to the accumulator. So if we're going with the the, the example, the word the, um, the first time through the accumulator is gonna equal an empty string and the character is going to equal t, right? So that's on our first iteration. It takes the uh, it takes the character and adds it to the accumulator. So now this is t. Then this on the next one changes to h. So it takes the character and adds the accumulator to it. So character goes here. 
because the accumulator was T, so now it's there. Next one, it'll be E. Jesus, E. And then here it'll be E. And that's how it works. I really don't like those pop-up menus in Atom. It's really grinding my gears, man. So that's five ways to reverse a string. You can talk about it. You learned about spread operators. You learned about reverse iteration through, um, through a string. You learned about ES6 syntax, and you learned about the uh, you know the reduce array method within ES6. So um, yeah, I hope it helped. Take it easy.